Microsoft has revealed a ton of indie developers that will be taking advantage of their ID at Xbox program, which will allow for easy self-publishing. Games like Dive Kick, Shoot Many Robots, and Spy Party are just a few of the many games set to head to the Xbox One. Even bigger studios like Crytek and Guacamelee's developers will be pursuing self-publishing as well. For the full list of developers and their possible Xbox One games in early 2014, just follow the link. The future of next-gen is off to a promising start and may be poised to overtake its predecessors. It took the PS3 and Xbox 360 eight years to sell a combined 160 million units total. However, Take-Two Interactive CEO Strauss Zelnick believes the new consoles can match that number in only five years, saying, All these new iterations of more and more exciting hardware seem to have picked up. If this economy stays on track, yeah, I feel good about it. More people love games, that's great news for next-gen consoles and great news for us. But not everybody thinks Microsoft and Sony are in the clear. EA CEO Andrew Wilson believes the next-gen consoles may face some competition in the years to come. Wilson said that while he believes the two companies have a great opportunity to build an internal following, I think that years from now, four years from now, they're going to be under some fairly stiff competition for the living room. From mobile providers like Apple, from Google, from Roku, from Comcast, to try and own that living room experience. So what do you think? Should console manufacturers prepare to battle with these newcomers to the living room, or do they even stand a chance? Give me your take on it in the comments. One thing is for sure though, people can't get enough of those next-gen consoles. According to a new Xbox One infographic, users have already spent 50 million hours in games and entertainment on the console, killed over 3 billion zombies in Dead Rising 3, and driven over 90 million miles in Forza 5. Xbox Corporate Vice President of Strategy and Marketing Yusef Mehdi wrote that, 11 days in and we are seeing record-breaking sales and are selling every Xbox One we can make. Demand is far exceeding supply in the 13 countries we've launched in and we are sold out at retailers around the world. Rest assured, if you're still trying to get your Xbox One, Microsoft is working around the clock to get those consoles on store shelves. It seems the Batman vs Superman movie finally has its girl power. Actress Gal Gadot has been cast as Wonder Woman in the Superman sequel, alongside Ben Affleck as Batman and Henry Cavill as Superman. Gadot is known for her role in the Fast and Furious franchise, and insiders believe that the movie may feature other Justice League members for cameos or significant roles. Great pick, or did you have someone else in mind for Wonder Woman? Share your thoughts. It's that time of the year again when the snow begins to fall, Santa Claus comes to town and gets abducted by Martians. Yes, it's true, and the stars of Rift Tracks are heading to theaters on December 5th for a live broadcast of Santa Claus Conquers the Martians, and IGN is teaming with Fathom Events to bring you the fun. Hit the URL below to get tickets now unless you want the Martians to win, and nobody wants that. And that's your fix for December 4th. I'm Naomi Kyle, and be sure to get your fix anytime online here at IGN.